Well, the idea for Green Campus came from the Environmental Society, which had been set up in 2006. Um, a lot of our members had come from green schools, and it just seemed natural that the ideas and the principles behind the green flag would be carried through to third level. Well, we were lucky we had such an enthusiastic bunch of staff and students all working together towards a common goal. That first year we concentrated on recycling, which saw a rise to 75%, and we hope to improve that further. But it was that synergy and cooperation between staff and students made the success. In the last few years we've introduced companion planting. Companion planting is planting um, plants that distract green fly from attacking the roses. So we cut down the use of herbicides and pesticides. We mulch all the grass now, um, so that's feeding the grass back into the ground and that cuts down the use of fertiliser. And in the winter time we collect all the leaves that fall from the trees around the college. So we compost that down and when it's all composted down we, we gather around 100 tonne of compost and that's fed back into the trees and the shrubs around the college every year. As part of the Green Camps initiative I carried out a waste management audit of all of UCC, all the different campus areas. So I looked at all the different types of waste streams in general waste, recycling, all the different streams of recycling, so paper, cardboard, batteries, we waste. And then I also looked at more specialised waste areas, so post-lab waste basically. And on the basis of that I put into action a, and a priority action plan for each waste stream and area with the idea that we bring every area of the campus up to the same high standard to satisfy the Green Campus criteria. The UCC is blessed um, in having an excellent natural environment in its grounds and estates and here in the School of Biological Earth and Environmental Scientists the students use the, the, the grounds as a teaching resource. So for instance the plant scientists, the ecologists and the zoologists use the campus around us here as a training tool to learn about animals and organisms and how they interact. So the rocks I'm sitting on here have been transported from around the country down from Donegal and we're landscaping these into the environment and the students will train on these and they will understand a bit about the geological environment and they will also act as a public outreach tool to tell the general public what's going on in UCC and what's going on in geology. Well, it's made us all examine how we do our work to see if it can be done in a more sustainable manner. With the savings made, both monetary and environmental, we have been delighted with the results. We're incredibly proud of our green flag and we'll work hard to ensure that it remains a permanent fixture in the quad.